Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alison and I'm the founder of The Urban Family. Today I am going to be sharing with you this box, Taking God Out of the Box. It is a box with 10 object lessons that I have taught over the years and I've shaped them and moulded them to make them my own. You, I want you to be able to do the same, but in order to do that, I thought it would be great to be able to have a starter kit or a kit that people can use if they're on a tight budget for Sunday school. And it just explains how you can illustrate the gospel using everyday items, plus one that you might need to buy online. But without further ado, all I'm going to do today is tell you what comes in the box. And then in the next few weeks, I'm going to release videos that will show you how I deliver each of these lessons so that you can learn how to do them as well. And hopefully it will inspire you to have a look around your house and see what you've got that you could illustrate the gospel with as well. So without further ado, I'm going to start telling you what comes inside each of the boxes. The first thing, I've got it all in front of me, so please forgive me. The first thing is this little booklet and it says, Taking God Out of the Box. This booklet tells you all of the 10 lessons, everything that you need, all the props that you need to have to be able to deliver a lesson. And it even tells you how what to say if you need it. Um, there is also a Bible verse that goes with each of the lessons and it's all printed in this little booklet and is included in the box. The first lesson is... Nah, the first lesson that we have is have complete faith in God and you for that you get three sharp pencils and a plastic bag. The second lesson is Jesus has the power to forgive and this is the only lesson where you may need to when you come to replenish it you may need to buy the items online. It comes with a bottle of vinegar and it's only a tiny little bottle of vinegar so this obviously you can buy in the supermarket it's just plain white vinegar you can buy it by the gallon and you will need more than this when uh, you'll probably use this in your practice run so you'll need to buy more in order to be able to deliver it it also comes with two little bottles here with chemicals in them you can see so these need to be kept out of the reach of children young children because obviously they are chemicals and you need to think of their safety first and um, but yes brilliant lesson so be worth waiting for the video to come out for that the third object lesson that we have is that nothing is impossible for God and for that real cheapskates that we are you get a sheet of A5 paper this can be done with A4 paper it can be done with any size of paper but the smaller the piece of paper the more impressive it is and so yeah really cool so you get the A5 paper and again you'll probably have paper lying around the house in order to be able to practice and then go out and deliver the lesson our next lesson is a pack of play involves a packet of playing cards and it is always thank God. But not only do I give you the pack of playing cards, which just a regular pack, but we also give you a large eight of hearts as well. And when I come to do the video again, I will show that there's lots of different lessons you can give with the playing cards, but also you, you might want to reproduce larger cards for other for other cards in the deck as well um, because this it's not just the eight of hearts that you can use but this is a great lesson about how you can thank always thank God and why we should always thank God and children really love it, it really but the bigger the, the prop the more it seems to sink in with the children that we, we, we deliver the lesson to the next lesson I love this lesson no one is perfect, none of us. And so for that, we use a bar of dove soap. And I specifically use dove soap because we can illustrate the Holy Spirit and the dove. And we've got an instant connection there. And it's really, so it's really great for the children to be able to see that and for us to talk that through with them. So you get a box of dove soap. Um, I'm just trying to think what the next one is. Okay, we have building our faith in Jesus and of course faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains so we give you a packet of mustard seeds then with a lovely red balloon 
we will illustrate how you uh, how why Jesus had to die. So why did Jesus have to die? The tr often children ask that question. You know, did, what, what was the purpose? Why was Je why did Jesus have to die? And you can illustrate this very simply with a red with a balloon. It doesn't need to be red; it could be any color. But yep, with a balloon, you can talk about why Jesus had to die. So I've only got three more lessons to share with you, three items left in the box. And the next item is a rubber band. And we will be talking about how to control your anger so that you don't snap with a rubber band. We give you some tea bags as well. And with the tea bags, we will talk about how to become a new creation in Christ and that we are a new creation in Christ. And this is, a, I really love this lesson because it's so simple and it is so visual that the children get it right away. And then last but not least, I've saved the sweetest thing till the end. And the lesson is, <laughs> which I nearly forgot, the lesson is don't let sin harden your heart and we're going to use a lollipop for that. So this is a particular kind of lollipop. It's quite heavy, a particular kind of lollipop where it's got the wrapper on the outside so you can't see the lollipop inside. That's important. Then it has the hard shell of uh, boiled sweet uh, lollipop. And then on the very center, it's got chewing gum. So it's important that it has those three aspects to it so that we can illustrate not having a hard ha heart. So that's the 10 lessons that come in the box and I am really looking forward to being able to produce these videos and to catch up with you in the next one. So until then, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Uh, it's goodbye from me.